Do statins reduce all-cause mortality? So yes, they absolutely do. And we're going to go through all the data and show that statins not only reduce cardiovascular mortality, but they also reduce all-cause mortality. So some of you are like, well, what, what on earth is all-cause mortality? What are you talking about? What is that? So we'll go through it. I'll explain what is the different types of mortality and why it's important to point out that all-cause mortality also goes down. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Allo. I'm a double board certified cardiologist, been teaching cardiology for a very, very long time. So if all cause mortality means the, the chance of dying of anything. When somebody dies of a heart attack, that counts as a death. When somebody dies of cancer, that counts as a death. When somebody dies of gunshot wounds, that counts as a death. So all cause mortality is when somebody dies of everything. Some of these people online Usually the cholesterol disputers and these people that like have these weird conspiracy theories and try to tell you that cholesterol is not a problem and that it's no big deal. They always like to ask the question, well, what about all cause mortality? Because they think that we can fudge the numbers when it comes to cardiovascular mortality, but there's no way to fudge the numbers when it comes to all cause mortality. All cause mortality is the death from any cause. So a lot of times it's almost ludicrous to require a study on therapeutic agents in cardiovascular disease to show a decrease in all-cause mortality. Like why on earth would we require a medication or a new stent technology or a new exercise program to reduce heart failure, whatever it might be, to show a decrease in all-cause mortality? Like why should statin medications, for example, or lipid lowering therapy or heart failure medications show a, show a decrease in deaths from cancer? or deaths from gunshot wounds, or deaths from motor vehicle accidents, or suicide, or anything. So it's a little bit ludicrous to require that and ask for that, but these online influencers think that we can fudge the numbers about cardiovascular deaths. I don't know why they say that. They're like, well, you can count anything as a cardiovascular death. I have no idea why they say that, because you can't. Cardiovascular death is very well defined and you cannot just make this up. But they say, but if we just look at all cause mortality, basically everybody that died in the placebo arm versus everybody that died in the treatment arm, then you can't fudge the numbers. You know, it's like this whole big, you know, weird, you know, conspiracy theory that's like anti-science, anti-education, anti, you know, intellectualism, you know, they're like these anti-expertise kind of nonsense. But there have been, so so let's put that all aside. Let's say, okay, okay, people, you want all-cause mortality. Let's take a look at statin medications in and of themselves, by themselves, versus all-cause mortality. The largest meta-analysis ever done on statins and all-cause mortality. So a lot of times these people will publish a study. Like there's these, these people online on Twitter especially. They publish a study and they cherry pick studies. Like this guy, I think his name is David Diamond maybe. They publish a study and it's not even like a meta-analysis. It's a review or an opinion piece. They publish their own opinion piece, cherry picking studies, and then they cite their own review piece. You know, they'll be like, well, look, here's a study that showed they, they make a big post on how statin medications don't reduce all-cause mortality, right? And you're like, well, cite your sources. What are you talking about? Where's the evidence that statins don't reduce all-cause mortality? Like, that's just a bunch of nonsense. Heart disease is the number one killer. If you reduce heart disease, you reduce all-cause mortality. It's like a straight line. It's like logic, common sense. You don't really need to prove that. We do have that proof, and I'll get to it. But these people post these things like, oh, statins don't reduce all-cause mortality, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, well, cite your studies. And then they cite their own opinion piece. That's not a study. You cherry-picked one or two studies, and you are citing your own research as evidence. How about we look at all of the studies? So there was a large meta-analysis that looked at every single statin study that has ever been published up until that point in time when this meta-analysis was published. And this did not cherry pick studies, this looked at all studies. In fact, if you look at the forest plot, you will see that the first handful of studies, the first one or two, maybe three, did not show a reduction in all-cause mortality. So they even included the weaker statins that did not cause a huge decrease in LDL cholesterol, which we know if you include those, you're not going to show a significant reduction in all-cause mortality. Sure, there might be a large reduction in you know cardiovascular mortality, cardiovascular event rates. You reduce heart attacks, you reduce strokes, but you're not going to reduce all-cause mortality. So they included all those studies, and you can look at the graph. I'll put it up here. Every single study, with the exception of the first few with the weaker statins, not a long enough time horizon, etc., 
showed a reduction in all-cause mortality. And there's so much data on all-cause mortality and statins now that a lot of people went back and started doing meta-analyses and research reviews and all of this to go back and look because all these online idiots are saying, well, what about all-cause mortality? What about all-cause mortality? You didn't look at all-cause mortality. So they're like, all right, let's go back and look at all-cause mortality. So I'm going to go through the data for you study by study. So those of you who just kind of wanted an overview of this topic, you could stop here. Those of you who want to kind of go a little bit more in depth, I'm just going to go over uh, all of the studies on uh, statins and all-cause uh, mortality. So the first one that we're going to go over is the 2001 trial called the Jupiter trial. This was from 2001. This was with rosuvastatin 20. Yes, that famous trial that finally got people's LDLs under 60. And anybody in that trial and in future trials like the PISA trial where your LDL cholesterol was below 57 or below 60 milligrams per deciliter, there was almost no atherosclerosis to speak of, even if it was lowered later in life. But generally speaking, obviously, it was better and more profound uh, if it was low from earlier and earlier years. So the Jupiter trial, uh, and this is all in my cholesterol book, like I'm just going to read to you some of these studies. But if you go to the chapter in my cholesterol books on statins and reduce, reducing all-cause mortality, uh, you will have all this with live links to every single one of these studies. And you will be able to click on the studies and read them for yourself, especially if you're one of these people that's like a, wants a deep dive into this. If you want to know how to get my cholesterol book, go to drallo.net slash cholesterol, dralo.net slash cholesterol, and you can uh, grab uh, the book or sign up to know when that book is coming out. It's super, super close. So the Jupiter trial that was discussed earlier in this book was a primary prevention study. Now, primary prevention means these people never had a heart attack or stroke at all. We are putting people on this medication that have never had a heart attack or stroke. And it is harder, usually in trials, to show a primary prevention benefit than a secondary. Secondary usually means people have already had a heart attack or stroke and we're trying to prevent a second one. So secondary prevention is much easier to show a benefit because these people already have atherosclerosis. They're already prone to it. They already had high cholesterol for a very long time. They're already thrombogenic, atherogenic, you know, all that, you know, milieu in their bloodstream and their arteries. They're more likely to have future events because they already had one. It's much easier to show a benefit in secondary prevention. So this was actually a primary prevention study and it still showed a benefit. So people that were ha that were placed on rosuvastatin 20, the Jupiter trial showed a 20% reduction in all-cause mortality. It showed a 37% reduction in CRP, which is an inflammatory marker, and that was the Jupiter trial. And there's, there's links for all of this in the cholesterol book um, to go to the actual trial and read it. Another study found that statin, user, statin users had a 24% lower all-cause mortality risk and a 28% lower cardiovascular mortality, mortality risk than non-users. So on statins, 28% lower, 24% lower all-cause, 28% lower cardiovascular uh, mortality. The protective effect was especially true for women, reducing cardiovascular risk by 45% and all-cause mortality by 34%. Another meta-analysis of 26 studies, and this is the one that I always put up here. This one did not cherry-pick. This one went through all the studies, and as you notice, the first few did not show a all-cause benefit. They obviously did show a cardiovascular benefit, but not all-cause. Another meta-analysis of 26 studies showed that all-cause mortality was reduced by lowering LDL cholesterol. And their exact quote from the article says, across all 26 trials, all-cause mortality was reduced by 10% per one millimole reduction in LDL cholesterol. And in American, that is a 38.6 reduction, let's just say 35 for short. For every 35 milligrams per deciliter you lower your LDL, you had a 10% reduction in all-cause mortality. That is pretty, pretty amazing. And the study is linked up there. Another very well done study showed that statins reduced all-cause mortality by 14% in primary prevention. And there's a quote from this, the trial itself that says, in adults that increased in adults at increased risk of cardiovascular disease, but without prior cardiovascular disease, so this is a primary prevention trial. Statin therapy was associated with a reduced risk of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular mortality and CVD events, cardiovascular events, with greater absolute benefits in patients at greater baseline risk. So the higher your baseline risk, the more benefit you had by reducing your LDL cholesterol on stat with statins. 
The lipid study showed that pravastatin, which is one of the weaker and first statins ever invented, the lipid study showed that pravastatin reduced CV mortality and all-cause mortality in just six years of therapy. This was with, obviously, pravastatin, one of the weaker statins. The study showed that taking statins for six years reduced, de reduced death from cardiovascular disease by 24% and all-cause mortality by 23%. Another great study on statins and all-cause mortality showed a 28% reduction and the quote or the name of the study was Effect of statin, statins on all-cause mortality in adults, a systematic review and meta-analysis of propensity score matched studies. And the quote from the study is, the risk of all-cause mortality was significantly reduced in statin users and it was also... Oh, and there was another study that was a huge one. The, it was a meta-analysis that looked at 54 studies published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine in 2022 and found that statins reduced all-cause mortality by 28%. The force plot from that paper is quite impressive. Check out the supplemental guide, but I will put that up here for you. And that's about it. So now you know this is not like something easy to do this requires a lot of like heavy lifting in the scientific community but it was done because so many people are like what about all cause what about all cause what about all cause well here you go here's all cause all cause mortality without question reduced with statin therapy so fantastic data statin medications not only reduce significantly the, re the re re uh, event rates cv event rates but also all cause mortality. If you like stuff like this, join my community, drallo.net slash community. We meet every Monday night on Zoom and you can text me and talk to me all day and all night in the app and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.